Hey guys, this is Troy with eBuzz Central. Today we're taking a look at Manjaro Deepen. It's actually the most recent release. It's the stable 21.0.7. I did a video on this about six months ago uh, when it was unstable, and it, it, it impressed me then. But um, downloading this version today and running it here in a virtual machine, I got to tell you, uh, Windows 11 doesn't have anything on Manjaro Deepen. This is probably the most beautiful distribution of Linux that I have ever had the honor of being in. So let me minimize this and let's go over something real quick. Uh, it's 64-bit system. The kernel that we're presently running is the 5.10.42-1. I'm running this in virtual machine. I have assigned it 4 gigabytes of RAM. It's on a ZenBook 14 Ryzen 5, and it also has the addition of the NVIDIA card in it. But that's what we're running right now. As you can see right now, as it first boots up, you've got your apps here in the center, which Windows is bragging about now. We have our apps in the center. Manjaro Deepin has it right out of the box. And a matter of fact, there's been a lot of distros that have had it for years, years upon years. Uh, in the customization, I've already went in, just to let you all know. Let me open control panel, uh, personalization. I've already set it to dark mode. I just love dark mode. It works so much better for me, uh, especially being my age. Uh, my eyes aren't what they used to be, so I have to wear glasses anyway, so dark mode just helps me out a little bit. And then you can also change your accent colors right out of the box. I know Windows does that, and you can actually have it automatically do it to match your background and things like that. But I just want to be able to have this kind of power and be able to change the things I want to do. So let's just go over here to blue. Let's go to a lighter blue. There we go. Uh, but you can turn window effects on and off. Uh, just depends on what you want to do and what you want your operating system to do. Uh, icon theme, you can go in and change your icon theme. If you're not happy with what's in the box, you can always go download more. Uh, Cursor themes, fonts, things like that. But let's not get too carried away there. What I want to do real quick is go over here and let me show you something. Uh, a lot of people may not enjoy having the apps list in the center of the screen on the bottom. Some people just don't like that. If that's you, all you got to do is right click right here, go to mode. Instead of fashion mode, click a deficient mode, and you're right back to where you need to be. Okay, now you do click uh, a la Mac OS. When you click on that, it opens all your apps, and you have them here in the center. Uh, you can scroll through them with your mouse if you want to. But, I mean, it, it, it comes with quite a few software choices right out of the box, but it's not bloated. Uh, you've got your basic system, file manager, music, movie, screen capture, image viewer, album, draw. Uh, you can go through here, disk utility, control center. Let's take a look at system monitor. Uh, right now I'm running at about, well, it was 7.3% on the CPU. Now it's down to 2.8. I'm running at about 1.8 gigs of the four that I've assigned to it. Uh, all your services. And just like if you have something lock up on you in Windows, you can come over here. You can right click on it. If you need to start it, need to stop it, need to refresh it, whatever you need to do, you can get rid of that. It's just like a task manager. Um, so let's close that. Let's go back to our applications. And let's take a look at the App Store. Uh, I was very impressed when I opened this earlier. Um, everything you pretty much need program-wise, open source, you can just go up here and type it. Let's see. Let's go OBS for OBS Studio. There it is right there. Um, Caden Live. Caden Live's right there. So, I mean, everything you need in the App Store is right there, and it's real quick. Um, let's confirm. Let's close that. I want to go back to the fashion mode. I like that better. Um Let's open up our file manager, and this is probably one of the most beautiful file managers in a Linux distro that I've seen in a long time. And it's got your basis. I don't have to explain to you all your folders here, but as you can see, it's self-explanatory. It's laid out. Now, you can make your folders bigger and smaller, I think, with the scroll. Yes, you can. So, I mean... Nothing major there. Your videos will automatically download their music, pictures, documents, downloads, and computers on your LAN network. Now let's take a look at some of the settings that you have on here. Um, you can go in and set up your accounts, uh, your display. You, of course, can come over here, and you're going to have a lot more freedom. I'm presently running 1920 by 1080. Uh, you can turn on night shift if you want, turn it off. What it does, actually, when you have it set on night shift, 
the screen you will change depending on the time of the day and your location. So as it gets darker, the screen will actually, the U of the screen will go down so it's not as hard on your eyes. You can also change your color temperature if you would like, make it more warm, more cool. Uh, your default applications, uh, let's say you don't want to run Firefox, you want to run Chromium or you want to run Opera, you download it, it'll come over here, you select it, and it'll automatically be set as your default. So that way, if you open a link in an email or something like that, boom, you can set it up and you're good to go. You can do that with mail, text editor, music, video, picture. Video should give you more than one. We've got the movie player that comes with Manjaro. You've got the MPV media player, and you got VLC. So if, let's say I wanted to set VLC is now my default video. Uh, picture, terminal, personalization, we went through that a while ago. Network, notification, sound, date and time, power, mouse, uh, system info, and then general settings, startup, delay, what theme you want on startup, things like that. But And then you, over here, you've got your bar that has your battery, your network, your volume, app store. Let's go ahead and quit that. And then, of course, your update shield. If you've got updates that are due, that shield down there will show up. I have three, but like I said, I'm in a virtual machine, so I'm not even going to try to install those. Now, if you don't want these, you think those take up too much room, you just click that little arrow and they disappear. Uh, date and time. Set up your date and time right in here. You can go in and change your time zone if you need to. Change your date if you need to, but generally you don't have to worry about that. And then your time format. Uh, presently, I'm running, uh, let's see, that's a short date. Let's say I wanted to run it a different way. If you wanted to, you could run it 2020-04 or 2021-07-12. Short time, long time. But there's so many ways to customize it. But, I mean, bottom line is Manjaro Linux is an amazing operating system. Uh, just looking at it, it's gorgeous. Just using it, it is quick. It is responsive. Uh, it is definitely something if you're thinking about leaving Windows or you're presently on Linux, let's say, you know, on a Debian base or, you know, Ubuntu, something like that, Linux Mint and you're wanting to step it up a little bit, and you want to try Arch, uh, but you've been afraid to, Manjaro makes it simple. To be quite honest, I am so glad that I switched to Manjaro. Uh, I'm running Manjaro KDE right now, but I'm leaning towards this becoming my new daily driver. I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, like I said, I am presently running this in a virtual machine on a Asus ZenBook 14. Uh, it's a Ryzen 5 with the NVIDIA video card, uh, 8 gigabytes of RAM, and this machine I will be giving away on August 31st. So if you like the video and subscribe, you will be entered for your chance to win this machine. One lucky viewer is going to get an awesome machine. Uh, but like I said, thank you for watching today. Please like and subscribe to get entered on that, and I appreciate it. This is Troy with eBuzz Central.